Um, I've driven an hour away from my home here before. Uh, it was miserable. It was one of the things that cost me my marriage. I was uh, bartending and waiting tables to be able to pay child support because for years I paid while having the children full time. Miss Jones filed a false police report and got me fired from my job because the police showed up and went through their cameras after she said I broke into her home. And then after the weekend, all of a sudden she drops the charges and says she can't find the video of me breaking into her home, which is just preposterous in every possible way. And so my job fired me because they didn't want the police showing up, checking out their therapist for home invasion. Guys, I tell you, this is another cautionary reason for men to be very, very careful about the women that you choose to have kids with. Because in this video, we're going to be discussing a man bringing his ex-wife back to court because he's paying child support. All of his kids live with him and he recently has lost his job and their mother never really come see him at all. So this man is back in court trying to get child support adjusted. Let's get right into it. Mr. Jones, you filed an objection to the child support recommendation. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And what is it that you are objecting to? Well... <clears throat> Miss Jones was supposed to see her daughter 24 days a month or a year, and the child support was calculated based on that. As I said previously, she maybe sees her daughter 10 overnights a year. We kind of went with a higher amount than that. She hasn't had her daughter from an overnight since April of whenever the last court hearing was, except for last night. She showed up and took her daughter for one night in the last however three months and i'm guessing probably just because it was the day before she went to court so 24 overnights a year is a gross exaggeration on the amount of time that she will see her daughter and i also just wanted to point out some of the other things in my lengthy uh response to mrs jones's uh thing that she wrote and that's right. it all right, Ms. Jones's camera is now on. Ms. Jones, can you hear me? Over? Yes, Your Honor. All right, ma'am, you also filed an objection. What is the basis of your objection? I just would like it recalculated based on um, our tax returns. He said he returned in for uh, two pay stubs with, I think, the requested four. My concern is he has a master's degree. He has license to practice occupational therapy. He's choosing not to, as far as I know, he hasn't even applied to work in occupational therapy. In addition to that, previous and our when we had our calculations done in 2020, he was working part-time OT. And then after that, he started working as a bartender and server, which he continues to do now and had been for years. So I just like it recalculated based on all of that information. Part of the court, what was the documents used to calculate the income? For Timothy? Yes. We used his year to date for 16 weeks at his current job, and it was calculated and put in at $970. $975 times 52 weeks. Man, child support court got him paying nine seventy five dollars a month. That's a little bit over $50,000 a year. That's more than enough money for her to live off of without even having those kids around. He's totally paying for her lifestyle. And Mr. Jones, what would you like to say regarding uh, your income? My income is what it is, Your Honor. I am bartending and waiting tables because I have to because we live in northern Michigan where there are very few jobs available. Um, the one I had was one of the only or the only available within an hour away from uh, my home. Um, I've driven an hour away from my home here before. Uh, it was miserable. It was one of the things that cost me my marriage. I was uh, bartending and waiting tables to be able to pay child support because for years I paid while having the children full time, Miss Jones filed a false police report and got me fired from my job because the police showed up and went through their cameras after she said I broke into her home. And then after the weekend, all of a sudden she drops the charges and says she can't find the video of me breaking into her home, which is just preposterous in every possible way. And so my job fired me because they didn't want the police showing up, checking out their therapist for home invasion, which I guess is 
it's not even my employer that fired me. It's the facility that we work at that we're contracted with demanded that I be fired because they didn't want the police in the facility anymore. So, yes, I'm bartending away capable of a master's degree. I'm making good money. I mean, $1,000 a week is about what I was making uh, when I was practicing. Um, I continue to look for a job. I have applied for several. But like I said, I'm not going to drive over an hour away anymore, especially when I'm making about the same amount of money as I was making before. And Miss Jones says that the, the, you guys didn't have her correct income information. Well, she was given the same 14 days to give the informa information that I did. I gave them my previous year's tax returns and my last two pay stubs, exactly what they asked for. I've been at this job for almost a year now. I, I don't know, 10 months now, eight months, something like that. Um, it's where I'm going to be for a while until I find something very close and I don't see that happening in the near future. But even if I do, the income is going to be about the same, like I said. This ex-wife here is, is the reason why this man lost his high-paying job that he went to school for and earned a master's degree in, only for him to lose it over false allegations from his ex-wife. These are the type of life experiences that are causing a lot of men in the U.S. to have mental health issues. Thank you, sir. Ms. Jones, anything else that you want to say regarding your objection? Yes. And it he made that much money waiting tables and bartending in addition to his occupational therapy job. There are jobs listed on Indeed for months in Boyne, Gaylord, Grayling, Petoskey. He says he is, he hasn't applied. I, I doubt he's applied because last time he said he didn't want to even do that job anymore, that he wasn't happy. He has the means to make that income to get a job. He's not currently doing it. There's no reason that I know of that he can't be hired in as that. There was an incident where he someone broke into my home when my kids and I were downstate for Thanksgiving. And, it's not true. Excuse me. Well, I, talk. I, I don't know whether or not there was a break-in or not. It's certainly not going to be uh, determinative of what is the decision I have to make. So it's not really relevant. Well, I just want so to say that he had on record. So I, I thought I could have an opportunity to explain my side as well. Well, I'm not using what he said as any sort of evidence in this matter. Thank you. All right. Anything else you want to say, ma'am? I was out of town for a little bit when I came back to get my paperwork done. It was a few days late. I thought it was 14 days from me receiving it. I did turn in my paperwork in person, and they said everything looked like it was proper, what they needed. I'm just asking for it to be recalculated based on that. You're asking that your income be recalculated? Both of ours with the tax income from last year. All right. So what is the... Is there a difference between the amount that was calculated for you and what you are saying you're actually earning? No, I did have a raise, and I just I just want to make sure that they had my correct. I did have a raise recently, and I want to make sure they had that information. All right, front of the court from Ms. Jones's employment. Um, how was that calculated? The annual amount was calculated from what the employer disclosed. Um, the amount was seventy three thousand nine hundred eight twenty five. Her information that she submitted was within $300 of that amount. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, having heard from both parties, I am going to deny both objections. I understand Mr. Jones is concerned with the overnights, but we we need kind of a record. Um, so, I, you know, Mr. Jones, if you keep track of how many overnights actually happened this year, um, and we're not near that 24, then you're certainly free to file a new motion to change the overnights, but I'd like to have a track record of some time since this recommendation goes into place um, as to figure the overnights. You're not really gonna have a major change probably in support because um, it's already at a pretty low number of overnights anyways, but I think we need a track record of what's going on with the amount of overnights that are actually happening. Um, so. Uh, for today's purposes, I'm going to deny that your objection as well as Ms. Jones' objection both have the right to uh, file an objection to my decision within 21 days and have the matter heard before the judge. That information will be provided in the paperwork that you received from the court um, regarding today's decision. All right, thank you both for appearing. So the judge denied it because he got approved that it's just more than one night that she missed. I don't even understand that, but that's why I truly believe that men are going to stop marrying Western women, period. Because the way that a woman who claimed that she loved you enough to before that you married her and gave her kids, 
men are learning that these are the same women coming back later, destroying these men, taking everything from them that they have. And just for the fact that this woman is never with her kids or even want to be around them, maybe the kids know how toxic and crazy their mother is and the kids don't want to be around her. I wonder why the courts never take that into account. And this just goes to show how much a good father that this man is, where he used to have a high paying job. He had to drop his ego and go wait tables and be a, you know, work in restaurants. I think that speaks a lot about his character and the good father he's trying to be to his kids. Because we all know there's no way in the world that a man who can never come see his kids he wouldn't be on child support, especially if he's making money and he don't even see those kids. We all know the child support system is just shameless. This judge should be reviewed because if this was the other way around, he know he wouldn't have went for this. But that's all I got in this video. You guys drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of this crazy situation. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.